All right, people, welcome back. More Depro Dope Commentary. We are joined by our friend Alexis. Hey, everybody. And uh, it's actually on Depro. They're not rated, though, because their rating system is down. So we're just watching some matches and unrated. So we have Alucard 7 playing We Don't Know Yet and Pro Linho with that Minerva Millie Light Sworn deck. <laughs> that... Looks like it's Minerva Turbo. Yeah. I wonder if he's playing Judgment Dragon. Possibly, I mean, if we see Dragon Dragon, it's possibly uh, Light Swords. I'd say more Light Swords than anything. If not, then it's just Minerva deck to rank four plays. But, I mean, yeah. it seems like there might be enough names. Some people like to tech in one or two Judgment Dragon just because it outs out certain things when you can't go into your extra deck to get them. <laughs> you like to play Judgment Dragon because you win. You just play it in a win. <laughs> I used, I used to play it in Minerva Turbo because it helps out a lot during the Monarch matchup because when they go ahead and, and domain lock you, you can still drop a JD. Yeah, true. And then just wipe everything oh, and then went into a Giant Hand. That's not terrible. Just Giant Hand is... came... Kind of bad because it's, it targets, it only works when the monster activates its effect, and it can only use its effect once while face up on the field. Yeah. It's like, it's a prize card, everybody wants it, and it got reprinted, and everybody had access to it, and then and then Alucard <laughs> just quits. Alright. Alucard just, I guess he's playing Necros, but that's the only deck I can think of that would just instant scoop if their one search got negated. At oh. least nowadays, anyway. Back in, like, 2015, they would just search anyway. Like, holy crap, he, he just, he scooped it up real quick. Apologize for that little pop-up right there. <laughs> I go and do that disturb on Skype, but then I don't do anything on Discord, and then people message me on Discord and it pops up. I finally got Discord to install after, like, a hundred tries. No, with that big old line of text error? Yeah, I got that big line of text error. One of my friends finally knew what was going on and was able to help me fix it. That's good. Although I also had a, like, I also had to unsync a bunch of things, because when I was setting it up, it synced to a bunch of things I wasn't comfortable having it connected to so that took like an hour and a half to get to finally stay because it didn't want to stay connected and he opens up Minerva. I mean this pretty much exactly that play. Special summon Photon Thrasher, summon the Trick Clan, go to Minerva, detach, mill a wolf. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much the same exact play. Oh he didn't mill a wolf this time but he did mill some nice draws with Minerva. If he milled a wolf that would just be icing on the cake right now because he would have gone in a free rank four probably gone in for Giant Hand again, since he knows that Giant Hand equals automatic win against Alucard, apparently. Uh, apparently so. So now there is no Giant Hand, so now this time you can do something and strike. <laughs> I'm betting it is Solemn Strike too, because, I mean, Solemn Strike might be more fair than Solemn Judgment and Solemn... Oh no, look, I was right, it was Necros. Yep. Wow, people are just messaging me on Discord. So, you can take the maxi challenge? Wow, yeah, you were right about the necros. I wonder, if, I wonder if he's about to summon, um, I think it's, oh, he's just going to summon one. I thought he was going to summon two necros at the same time using that one. Because sometimes when you have that ritual spell, you go ahead and send like a quasar and, well, I mean, you know what it is. You've played back in necros format. I played it in Necroswine, but I didn't play Necros himself in Necroswine, but I did play him on Daily Duels a couple of months ago. But yeah, I know. I know uh, he's using the, uh, the Kaleido to send a big extra deck monster, like a level 12, and then summoning, like, like Unicorn and Val Valkyrus. Yeah, I know. Yep. Okay. So, you gonna trish this man? <laughs> he might. I find it interesting that he's actually running the Cyber Angels. I would assume that Necroz wouldn't really have much use for it because they don't have any fairies in their deck, to my knowledge. Uh, Mandu and Sandu. Huh? Oh, you're right. I I, could, I, could, I feel <laughs> dumb. I forgot that those were fairies. Yep. So. I'm so used to just. I'm just so used to just using them without a care in the world. I guess. And I it helps. looks like we're gonna get trished. Yeah. If he doesn't banish that Minerva, I'm going to be very upset. He's going to banish the Minerva. Okay, you do not want that Minerva going off in the graveyard, milling in some light swans and popping you during the damage step. Let's see what he's going to banish. It better be that Minerva or he's going to probably regret it. 
Yeah, I mean, you can just tack the trip claw twice. It doesn't matter. I well, know one thing I, I uh, tried to do with Trick Clown one time until I realized it didn't work. What? I used, I used to think that if you use Trick Clown's effect to special summon a, a, uh, a hat trick or that you wouldn't get burnt. I was sadly incorrect. Okay, mm. he is going to get rid of that Minerva. He's also going to get rid of a Fairy Tail and a Raiden. That's good. That's good. Get that Fairy Tail hey, sign. What do you think of the fairy tale archetype? They got three monsters now, but it doesn't really feel like the three of them work together, if you know Not what I mean. Not really. They kind of just do their own thing in their own separate kind of ways. But, I mean, for individual monsters, they're not terrible. I've seen much worse, you know. I think fairy tale snow is more or less designed for mill decks. I think. One sec, I gotta quickly go, uh, look up what that other fairy tale is called. Fairy tale. Once I can actually get it. There we go. Fairy tale Cinderella feels like it doesn't even belong anywhere. I, I honestly can't think of a single deck that uses equipped spells all that much. Can you? Outside of like maybe noble knights that don't need this card anyway? Not really, just noble knights. Eh? We don't see equipped spells used too often. Except for Snatch Steel and uh, that one equipped spell that Quip Parts had. Oh, Sacrifice? I think yeah, I think those are the only equip spells that have been used in the last two years, if, I was, if I'm if i correct. Hey, I mean, when I went to my regionals, in Las Vegas regionals, I played Moon Mirror Shield. It was putting in work. <laughs> okay, then Moon Mirror Shield can be among the very few equip spells that anybody cares about ever. I mean, my opponents were fucking caring when I would summon, like, a, a Magic Spectre or a, the Wind Barrier statue and equip it with, with Moon Mirror Shield. Like, nope, can't attack over me. <laughs> At that point, you either have Regeki or you just kind of forfeit. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, you can also go into Castile if you happen to have wind monsters in your deck, but that's about the only other option I can think of. There's actually a guy I dueled in the tournament, and he actually played the wind kaiju. <laughs> that's so clap. <laughs> that's I was shocked I as got. fuck. I was like, okay. I mean, he still lost, but... Because then he was like... Well, that man has... That man has my respect for running that wind kaiju just for the off chance that the wind... The I wind barrier... I don't think it was that. I think he just couldn't find himself a third gamma seal because the other two were two gamma seals. Wow. All right, Alucard. What? <laughs> oh, that's gay. So Alucard loses because he timed out. Yep. G -G. That's got to suck. Yep. I know I... I know I hate it when I time out when I'm in the middle of doing like 50 million combos and I have to like rush it or end my turn without finishing my combos just because of a time limit. Mm-hmm, like, in rated, I can understand, but unrated, I mean, who cares if they take forever? If they're not doing anything, just leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you on that one. Whatever. I think they should add that onto the onto uh, Yugo Pro and Dev Pro, where if it's unrated, the time limit is either more lenient or just doesn't exist, because you really don't need a time limit when you're dueling against people in unrated, because you can just leave without any consequence. And even when you do leave on Yugo Pro, I don't think most people even know Yugo Pro has a rank section, because I didn't until one of my subscribers told me. Yeah, checkmate server. I mean, I just don't like it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll watch a different duel. Be right back. All right, uh, got another duel. We found Pearl and Ho again, so still using them uh, Minerva Light Swarms. I mean, Light Swarms they got. Top 32 at this past YCS. If Minerva was a card easier to access for everyone, I definitely think this deck would be top tier. I think it'd be like a tier 2 deck. But she's a prize card. She's expensive. Be, I think that if Minerva was a more accessible card, it would probably be one of the top maybe three or five decks. It's hard to say exactly how high up it would be, but it would definitely be up there. Because I played it on DN ranked, and I know that DN is not the, you know, the go-to place for what's relevant and what's not, but if you can get to the top to 1600 rating with a deck, it's probably okay, or at the very least good. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it could be meta. I mean, with APCs coming in, that'd be interesting. But no, I, I think, as what we were talking about before, I th just think he doesn't have a third Gamma Seal, because I, I remember seeing two Gamma Seals, and then he just threw that one in there, because I guess he couldn't find a third Gamma Seal, and it actually ended up getting him out of that situation. I mean, like I said, he still lost, because he was like, Melody, 
pitch, and I was like, Dark Bribes, and he took an egg on that. Then he was like, Stone Dirty Interface, I strike that, and he, just, he was just out of place, so I started poking him with the uh, moth. <laughs> as much as I love Karinamai's barrier statue is the one thing I really could do without. I mean, I, I was crazy enough to combine both of them. I was I was Magic Specter Stun Demise. I combined Card Demise with Magic Specter and the Barrier Statue. Because it's a conflict in chess. Because usually you would side in Regeki and Dark Hole to pop my Barrier Statue. But I'm also playing Magic Specter. So do you really want to do that? <laughs> that is just crazy enough to work. Yeah, also, it, is this a Light Sworn Mirror Match? It looks like it. I think it. this is a Light Sworn Mirror Match. And one is definitely better off than the other. <laughs> I mean, Minerva, she is just a boss ass bitch. Just the fact that she's just, well, she's a generic mill three. She's like Dante, except she's rank four. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Why not I just thought of something? There are exactly four ranks in the XC pool that have a Dante-type monster. Really? I just, yeah, the rank three and rank four pools have Minerva and Dante. The rank two pool has Treachoed. I know that's not exactly a mill, but you can just go ahead and summon Swamp Frog, so I'm counting it. And then something in, I believe, the rank 6 pool. Uh, yeah, rank 6 is Beatrice. <sighs> I mean, rank 4 has also had a Lavavel chain, but that's not quite a Dante. I mean, it's gone now. <laughs> well, she's still at 1, so you can still do stupid things like the Iconite FTK. Who's that? What's that one? The one where you summon, where you have to be able to go into a rank 5 and a rank 4 at the same time. Use Black Garden, use Blaze Fenix, and a bunch of other cards. It's it's really convoluted. I don't want to go into it. Okay. Yeah, the deck if you really want to... Hmm? No, I was just going to say that the Magic Specter deck worked out of... Okay, I just... Like usual, I eat a fat dick at the last second. I can't get my damn invite. I always lose at round 8. <laughs> I got a quick question. Did they do something to Cyframe Lord Omega's artwork? Because it looks different than I remember it. Uh, he's not secret rare? <laughs> ah, that must be it then. Yeah, because Omega's that secret rare, looked... that art is not secret. That looks like a super rare, if anything. <laughs> yeah, because I remember Cyframe Lord Omega being green, not blue. Yeah. He's supposed to be shinier than that. I don't know. He looks weird. Yeah, now since you bring it up, he looks weird. Uh, Cyphering Broken Omega. <laughs> you know in the OCG he's at 1 now? Yep, and he should probably be over at in 1 here too. Like, fuck that Dark Synchro I, deck. I think at 1 would be okay too, because it wouldn't kill the Cyframe deck. I know a lot of people would argue that Cyframes need to die, but let's be honest here. Are Cyframes really so bad that they need to be killed from the face of the earth? No. They don't need to be killed, but I don't want to face them. No one wants to face them. <laughs> I like facing them because I can just literally set a monster, flip, summon it, and then like 90% of their deck is completely worthless. But don't they have one that blocks attacks? Yeah, but they have to have it in hand because if you don't attack... I mean, if you don't just... Okay, so when you're fighting Cyframes, the trick to beating them is to flip summon a monster rather than just immediately normal summoning it. The reason for that is when you flip summon... Their searcher from their hand doesn't trigger. The one that, um, well, yes, basically, yeah, you do that so they can't get a search, and none of their hand traps can be used. Mm. Yeah, that works. Oh, that duels quick. Uh, game two, I guess. All right, we are back. Got Aaron, who like, okay, like, do you run one just for the name? I don't know. And that pot of desires, charge of light brigade, <laughs> pot of He's desires. Sending all those. He just sent Soul Char. He just sent all those one ups to his grave. Yeah, look at this. Tell me this. That's not jump number generator. This man literally just melt Soul Charge one for one and foolish all with Char it's Charge the Light Brigade in a row. Like, all right, number generator. <laughs> it's interesting that he didn't and banish none of them with uh, desires. Well, we don't know what he banished. For all we know, he could have banished ten one ups. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I actually did that once. I was running a deck that was. Okay, you know how, uh, you know who Duologs is? Mm-hmm. Well, you know how, how he has that one video where he literally just throws one of every single card into his deck and tries to make it work? Mm-hmm. Well, I decided to do something like that. I played one Pot of Desires. Only difference is I wasn't literally playing only one of everything. I was... Okay, so what I did was I ran every single limited card was in my deck at one. 
I tried to make a deck around that. Pod Desires banished 10 of them from my deck, even though it was a 60-card deck. And most of my cards were at 2 or 3. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> why? Okay. Also, he's about to drop a, uh, a Minerva again, turn 1. I'm calling it now. If he uh, doesn't, then I'm going to rage. That was a good mill. Would have been better if he milled a wolf. True, true. But milling fairy tales not terrible either. Get her in a graveyard because there are no about to do her thing. And once again, oh, Prolin Ho just gets open stuff way better. That Photon Stash has put in work. It's like seeing the Photon Stash are either. Photon Stash is either really good in Light Swarms or really bad in Light Swarms, depending on how everything goes. I mean, ABCs are running it. Okay. <laughs> I think, I think there was a brilliant Light Sworn deck that was running like two Photon Trashers, even though it wasn't running Rhoda. Tired of seeing Minerva. <laughs> well, then we should follow somebody else if there's time. Oh, he's got the Breakthrough skill, so that means Minerva isn't going to... Wait, why didn't he... I think that was a misplay. I would have waited until Minerva detached to try to mill. Does she mill for cost? No, she's not Dante. Uh oh. No. Detaches cost. <laughs> yeah, ah. That's why I would have. Ooh, that soldier. <laughs> I mean, at least your Aaron think... lives. Maybe. <laughs> I think the guy who. Uh, okay, which one's the guy who managed to mill three limited cards from one Charge of the Light Brigade? Uh, that's uh, Aegon. Aegon. Yeah, Aegon, the one I... with Aaron. I think Aegon is just rolling around like. Why? <laughs> I hate Soul Charge. <laughs> like, I don't care what Konami says. That card's busted. <laughs> like, Look fuck. at the bright side. It's not at three anymore. So people actually think it could go back up. Like, hell no. <laughs> like, fuck life points. It's all about resources. <laughs> there, was, there was a door where I played all three strikes and the warning. Like, I don't give a shit about my life points. <laughs> One of one card I think could come back. What? And I know you're gonna probably hate me on this, but I'm. I think that we could probably have the. What the? I got a quick look at the spell card's name. What? Uh, what the spell was called? If it's spell book Butterfly judgment. dagger. El Butterfly dagger. Elma could come back. I'm aware that it has an FTK, but the FTK is really not that consistent. Mm, especially just in the today's fact age. That it is an FTK. It's unhealthy for the game. Like I say, if you want to correct it and errata and change some things, then that's fine. But as long as the FTK exists, it's not healthy for the game. One sec. Oh, so... They're real. I'm laying them defrost. They are defrost. So, so this man... This man mills the soul charge of Foolish in a 1 for 1, and then Prun Linho opens up with the soul charge in the Foolish. Like, alright. Because <laughs> number generator is totally not a thing. I think this video proves the number generator is very much a thing. Oh, this, this video I didn't prove it. I've, I've seen it plenty of times. I even had Stu send me a screenshot from DN where literally every single card in his hand was that card was uh in his opening hand it was card that won. It was like Regeki, Foolish. I think it was when Snatch Deal was still legal. So Snatch Deal, Warning, Rescue Rabbit. <laughs> like okay, okay, okay. wow. <laughs> he better have won that duel too. <laughs> Like, statistically improbable, but it's all good. Alright. I mean, that's what you want to use your breakthrough skill on. Just Omega putting something back, but I guess now Omega can't hop out the way, so that's nice. Well, to be fair, breakthrough skill, when its graveyard effect can only be used on his turn anyway, so... It's not like he has many oh, better true. options to do it on. So... Activate Lumina, pitch the Raiden for cost, and then grab back the Raiden, because there's already a Light Sworn target in the graveyard? Going to Michael. That might be what we see. We'll see what he dis <sighs> Okay, he is going to get riding. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> so, are you going to banish the Omega and attack with the Minerva? Or banish the Minerva and then... No, you can't leave that Omega there. It's a tough one. You just going to hit the B-Rose button? I don't know. <laughs> if I were him... Well, actually, never mind. Because never mind. he's just going to get his, one of his monsters set anyway. Oh, uh, fairy tale. <laughs> Back at it again with the so, inserting place. <laughs> times like this, it makes me question if Book of Moon can ever come back at uh, two or three. 
I think I think my problem, my gripe with Book of Moon is that it's a really skillful card. It's a really great card. It's a neg one, but Book of Moon will always be played at whatever it is. It, I mean, I guess it depends on the format. Like, it just doesn't seem like Konami. What's it at OCG? I think it's the three in OCG. So it just seems in like... OCG, it is at three. Yeah, so I guess in TCG, you're just like, nah. I guess we put Book of Moon in the back row, we never move department. Why not sad? I actually believe that that is a department that the uh, that Konami has. Probably. <laughs> I just don't like how it's, Strike is still at 3. I mean, I know you want to earn money, but forget it, man. Strike is broken. <laughs> I hate Strike so much. <laughs> wow. Fucking. So, Come on, milling man. double art. <sighs> okay, I think we already know how this duel is about then. Yeah, alright. Minerva mills two Felice. Draw two and summon two Felice. Alright, alright. I'm done. Or Felis, or however you say her name. I think he just went plus four, didn't he? Yep. He went plus four. He drew two and summoned two back from the graveyard to the field, so that's the resources. And in field, so that, he went plus four. Good job. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna, he's gonna mill a wolf or something. Hope he decks himself out. <laughs> well, if he doesn't kill his opponent this turn, he might. Although I don't see him not killing his opponent this turn unless his opponent has a random battle fader in his hand. To which I say, have, have Light Swords ever ran battle fader? No, they generally ran Necrogardner. That is true. <laughs> and then there's probably like oh, one person back. Oh, an electromagnetic turtle. Didn't that card come out in 2014, 2015? Yeah, that card came out more recently. But if they had it back then, they'd play it. <laughs> Well, they would have played and it probably would have been banned. Which is interesting. I haven't seen the Electromagnetic Turtle from neither one of these guys. Maybe they both, they all, they all got, they got banished in both of their decks. They both played Desires. <laughs> My Desires is really weird. It's like making this, this mindset where you want to run over 40 cards, which I think has always been considered a new play until Pot of Desires came out. I think they cut that out. Like here in the TCG, it's Pot of Desires with 40 cards. With whether it be two or uh, two or three does high. They don't care. They'll mill their entire deck because they're starting to get like the OCG. They think of the here and now. Yeah, that so. is true too. I, for <laughs> I forgot that in the TCG we we think a lot different than the OCG. Because mm -hmm. so, we're in the here and now. I mean, it's a pot of green. <laughs> so <laughs> why wouldn't you play it? Especially I don't like playing it because every time I play it, it feels like I banish all my combo pieces. Don't play it in Cosmo deck. I mean, co Cosmo deck. Combo deck. Uh, I'm not sure if you've played in Cosmos either, but <laughs> especially with Dark Destroyer 1, I, I wouldn't play it in Cosmos. <laughs> you go punch his eyes and banish your Dark Destroyer. You can go ahead and just kill yourself now. <laughs> I've had a few people that are, that are uh, teching in Wicked Witch. I mean, not Wicked Witch, uh, Farm Girl plus one Dark Destroyer just to do it. That's dumb. Like, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm still just trying to figure out Cosmos in general. I have the deck in real life, and it's just been, ever since Dark Destroyer got hit down the one, the deck's just been kind of eh. <laughs> they can try to help you out if you want. I mean, I haven't played Light uh, Cosmos since they got hit, but they were in my main deck back when they were at full power. <sighs> I'm not too urgent about it. I'll get it eventually. It's, it's just a fun deck. It's not competitive or anything. Also need to get In before to... Cosmos, top of YCS. I mean, they did Fire King Cosmos, but I don't want to play Fire King Cosmos. That is one of the only decks I have never figured out how to play. Yeah, it's just way too combo centric. You, you, you double take three times and stop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Bring it around town. Like, I, I don't know how to play that deck. So. <laughs> Alright, we're done here. So, so. basically. Can... Okay. Oh, what were you about to say? I guess okay, so, so basically you have to be absolutely perfect in every way or you lose. Yeah, and I'm just not into that. I'm not really a combo centric duelist. I like control decks, so it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, we're done. That makes sense. So Pro Lin Ho wins yet another one. The, the first turn maneuvers are just too strong if you don't get a first turn maneuver yourself. <laughs> so pick up your maneuvers now, people. Don't do that. <laughs> So, well, do you. it if you have the money. If you don't have the money, then go pick up a Dante. Sure. <laughs> so, thank you, Alexis, for joining me. Anytime.
link to her channel is in the description below so go ahead go over to her channel check out her content she does a ton of live streams like i, I don't even know why she does so many live streams to the point where she doesn't even know what to name them anymore <laughs> I did live stream because I didn't have a headset to do deck profiles and such. Oh well, now you, now you got something. <laughs> yep. So, so as as I figure out how to zip. I'm gonna go ahead and put the deck decks in the download link at the end of the uh, in, in the description. Yeah, it works. It works. So thanks for watching. Thanks for support, and uh, see you guys next time with some more deck Do commentary. Thanks for watching.